How's it going, guys? Welcome back to On the Brink. You may remember in my introduction video to the series that I gave a sneak peek at the question Dave Smith, founder of the Walt Disney Archives, received and answered in his book, Disney Trivia from the Vault. In today's long-awaited episode, I will be exploring Dave's answer to Christina from Tucson, Arizona, and sharing some of the insights and Easter eggs I've found as I research this topic. The topic at hand being the riddle posed by the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Before looking at Dave's answer, allow me to present some context. Walt Disney's animated feature film, Alice in Wonderland, was released in 1951, inspired, of course, by the book by Lewis Carroll, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Carroll's famous literary classic was first published in 1865. The puzzling and nonsensical riddle posed to Alice by the Mad Hatter in this story has been a subject of mystery and intrigue since its inception. The tea party scene in the story has a few interesting comparisons to be made to the film, but at the core, this peculiar riddle is faithfully written into the script of Disney's version. As a child, growing up with this film, I never really questioned the intent of the riddle or why the Hatter even dares to ask it. But when one really stops to think about what on earth that could even mean, it's quite clear that nothing is very clear in the world of Wonderland. My name is Dean. I'm a Disney scholar looking to share the wealth of knowledge bestowed upon us by historians of the past like Dave Smith and insights into the world of Disney. I'm now on the brink of episode one of Ask Dave. I have here in my hands a copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and its sequel Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Join me now as I go on this journey of discovering what the answer to the riddle truly is. But before I begin, allow me a brief wardrobe change. Hmm. Much better. Chapter 7. A Mad Tea Party There was a table, set out under a tree in front of the house, and the March Hare and the Hatter were having tea at it. The table was a large one, but the three were all crowded together at one corner of it. No room, no room, they cried out when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room, said Alice indignantly, and she sat down in the large armchair at one end of the table. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited, said the March Hare. Your hair wants cutting, said the Hatter. He had been looking at Alice for some time with great curiosity. You should learn not to make personal remarks, Alice said with some severity. The Hatter opened his eyes very wide on hearing this, but all he said was, Why is a raven like a writing desk? Come, we shall have some fun now, thought Alice. I'm glad they've begun asking riddles. I believe I can guess that, she added aloud. Do you mean that you think you can find out the answer to it? said the March Hare. Exactly so, said Alice. Have you guessed the riddle yet? The Hatter said, turning to Alice again. No, I give up, Alice replied. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea, said the Hatter. Well, I guess we're not getting very many answers from the original book. Thankfully, Walt Disney made a film in 1951 that should answer the question. Let's take a look at it. Let's change the subject. <laughs> Why is a raven like a writing desk? <laughs> Let me see now. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I beg your pardon. Alice really has no answer for the Mad Hatter, and when pondering the question, the tables turn accusing towards her. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Why is a what? Never. She's stark raven mad. But but it's your silly riddle. The Hatter and the March Hare seem to forget that they even asked the question. Alice quickly finds herself a subject of ridicule. They forget about the question entirely, so I guess there's no answer to be found there either. Let's take a look at the Tim Burton 2010 remake of Alice in Wonderland. Have you any idea why a raven is like a writing desk? Tell me what you make it! I'm fine. What's wrong with you? In the film, the Hatter, played by Johnny Depp, leads Alice on a journey of self-discovery that ends with no real answer. Hatter? Why is a raven like a writing desk? I haven't the slightest idea. We're striking out. 
Thank goodness we have Dave Smith from the Walt Disney Archives to shed some light on the mystery. Let's take a look at his answer in his book, Disney Trivia from the Vault. His answer to Christina from Tucson, Arizona reads, that riddle appears in Lewis Carroll's book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Carroll received constant inquiries about the riddle. He claimed that there was no answer. He had made up the riddle without thinking of one. Hmm. If I'm being very honest, I'm a little disappointed in his answer. His answer is very factual, but I really do wonder if there's an answer to this riddle. Hmm. Why is a raven like a writing desk? 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 I'm very excited to know the answer. Where to begin? Where to begin? Start at the beginning! Yeah, yeah. And when you come to the end, <laughs> stop! Ah, yes, thank you guys. I don't know what I would have done without you. Let's take a look at ravens. No, not... Not that raven. You know what? I heard that, you nasty. I mean Corvus Corax. Say evermore. Or the common raven, commonly found in the northern hemisphere of the world. Waka 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 waka. I did some digging about ravens and their mannerisms, but let's take a look at some videos, see what they're all about. The common raven versus the American crow. The raven has more of a bedhead with ruffled feathers, and the crow is much more sleek. Hello. 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 So I, love you. I love you. There we go. Hello. That's really interesting, Lolo's. Anything else you have to say on the matter? Ah. Oh, uh. <laughs> Don't wipe yourself on me, sir. How rude. <laughs> In captivity, ravens can learn to talk better than some parrots. They also mimic other noises, like car engines, toilets flushing, other animals and bird calls. Ravens have been known to imitate wolves or foxes to attract them to carcasses that the raven isn't capable of breaking open. It's impressive, but there's no need to keep raven on about it. Waka 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 waka. From the looks of it, ravens are very intelligent and actually quite talented. I can see really why Lewis Carroll wanted to include ravens as a part of his fantasy world of Alice in Wonderland. They have a very interesting quality that's very spooky, but also quite beautiful. I can't believe they can talk so well. So even though it feels like we've hit somewhat of a dead end, perhaps a dead end in the Tolgi wood, I decided to do some digging and see if there actually is, in the speculative realm, an answer or two to the riddle. So let's take a look. There is a wonderful book called The Annotated Alice, and it has some interesting speculation. Here's what it says. The 1991 edition of The Spectator in England asked for answers to the Hatter's Riddle. It was a competition, and they selected several answers that they published on July 6th of that year. Here's what the top answers are. Why is Raven like a writing desk? Because without them both, Brave New World could not have been written. That was by Roy Davenport. Peter Veal submitted... Because one has flapping fits and the other fitting flaps. George Simmers says because one is good for writing books and the other better for biting rooks. Tony Weston says because a writing desk is a rest for pens and a raven is a pest for wrens. Roger Bearsell says because raven contains five letters, which you might equally well expect to find in a writing desk. That's pretty clever. Noel Petty says because they are both used to carry on decomposition. That's pretty dark. M.R. McIntyre says because they both tend to present unkind bills. That's pretty funny. J. Tebbit says because they both have a flap in oak. Another clever answer is, why is a raven like a writing desk? Because Poe wrote on both. Alluding to Edgar Allan Poe's 1845 narrative poem, The Raven. It was a well-known fact that Edgar Allan Poe was having his... <laughs> Troubles. Until a certain raven came along to make him a genius. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. Quote the raven. And because the notes for which they are noted are not noted for being musical notes. As it turns out, Lewis Carroll actually poses his own answer. Carol wrote, Inquiries have been so often addressed to me as to whether any answer to the Hatter's Riddle can be imagined that I may as well put on record here what seems to me to be a fairly appropriate answer. 
because it can produce a few notes, though they are very flat, and it is never put with the wrong end in front. This, however, is merely an afterthought. The riddle as originally invented had no answer at all. Even though that it felt sort of like a dead end at certain points of this journey, I think it's quite interesting that people can come up with their own answers to a riddle that originally was meant to not have an answer as confirmed by author Lewis Carroll and historian Dave Smith. I think it's fun to speculate and to take a creative spin on this, and I'd love to hear anyone else's thoughts and opinions on what the answer really is, or could be. Through decades of speculation and an accumulation of thoughts and theories and answers, what do you think of what Dave's answer was and Lewis Carroll's answer was, and the other answers as well? Do these make sense? Have you ever come up with anything different? Leave your own answer in the comments, and I'll review what you've come up with. This has been quite the journey. Thank you for taking it with me, and don't forget to tune in to the next episode of Ask Dave, where we look at another question and answer about Disney history. There's a very special statue that can be found at the Disney parks, and it's called The Partners. It's of Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. Next time, I'm going to delve deeper into the history of the creation of this beautiful piece of art. And I'll be sharing what Dave had to say about that. So make sure to tune in next time. I've been Dean with On the Brink. See ya. Waka 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 waka.